Hello, this is JBigTicket23 from GreePCGamers.com. In this short video, we're going to show you how to install a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics card into a Dell Precision T3620 workstation. Um, we've picked this particular card um, because we wanted to uh, get a little bit of graphics when it comes to uh, gaming. Um, and the T3620, although it has a great I.O. speed as far as um, processors and memory, um, it does not have auxiliary power um, for high-end graphics cards because it only supports around a 300-watt power supply. Uh, so the 1050 Ti, um, it's, it's a perfect card to add into the system to really try to maximize the gaming performance on the T3620. Now, Another thing to note is that even it does the T3620 does not have a, a high wattage power supply, but it also has a small chassis. So some of your higher end cards, like your 1060s, 1070s, 1080s, and some of the newer cards that are coming out, they're just too large for this particular chassis, even if you did upgrade the power supply. So um, there's the slot. That's a PCI Express uh, X16 slot. Um, we're, go we're gonna go ahead and line up the card and once it's lined up we'll be able to push it directly into that slot um, it's kind of tough to do with one hand here but we'll we'll get it um, so it's not quite there yet you see in the left side we do need to move it over a little bit so we'll just shimmy that over based off the pci bracket it uh, looks like it's lined up here um, now we'll go ahead and be able to plug that card and push it right in so it should e very easily install inside the chassis um, so uh, let me, I'm going to pause this here in a second, and then I'm just going to, well, after we push this clip back in to lock the card in. Um, so most other cards, sorry, it's kind of blurry. The higher end cards are going to be longer, so they're going to go over in this region, which this system really just doesn't have the room for. And they're going to have auxiliary power in this area. So we picked this card because it doesn't have that. So if you are a... Um, uh, if you have a computer that you're trying to give a little bit more performance as far as graphics, you have a low wattage power supply, um, and you know at least hopefully it's a DDR3 or DDR4 based system. This card can give you a little bit more performance when it comes to gaming. So, all right, so we've got the card installed. Basically, at that point, I mean that's it. Um, you have to go ahead and put your side panel back on, and you can power your unit on. Now, this is another really important part of the install. Um, we do have to Go to GeForce.com, I'm um, sorry, NVIDIA.com. Um, on the top, there's a little tab that says Drivers. Depending on how technical you are, um, they do have an auto-detect GPU feature. Works really well. Um, there's also, um, you can find it manually by going to GeForce, 10 series, and then just find which card you have. This particular card is the 1050 Ti. Pick your operating system start search once you do that it'll come up on your list typically you want the latest version unless it's beta then maybe you want to wait um, but uh, in, in particular here we're going to pick the latest version download it, install it it'll reboot your system and then uh, you're good to go um, you're good to play games oh one other thing they'll, they'll give you an option for what's called the geforce experience um, that will allow you to optimize your games um, which is really nice um, sometimes you want to do it sometimes you don't based on how well they've optimized them uh, but other than that that's it um, that's the install uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, for more content please visit greenpcgamers.com um, also subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing um, if you want to support me follow me on twitch I stream almost every night 9 p.m. central time uh, if you have additional hardware questions uh, thanks a lot for watching